Of course, a big winter storm is on the way. I'm Local 5 Chief Meteorologist Brad Edwards uh, joining you live right now on YouTube and also on Facebook. A lot of pretty colors, right? Well, not so pretty, right? This is going to be the biggest snowstorm or let's say winter storm. Let's call it a winter storm. The biggest winter storm we've seen so far this year because it's going to pack snow, cold and wind with it. And we've got different colors. Now, central Iowa is in a winter storm warning, and that's really kind of one level below, say, a blizzard warning. The blizzard warning is in red, and that is right up here in Minnesota, and they are expecting conditions to be a little bit worse there. However, we could see ours upgraded if conditions get worse. What's happened is in the last uh, 24 hours or so, our snowfall forecast has gone down, and the winds forecasted have gone down a little bit as well, so that's good news news. This is a big storm. It's coming out of the Rockies, so we've got a, new, a number of uh, watches, warnings posted here all the way back into the Midwest. It'll continue uh, right across the Great Lakes, Ohio Valley, Northeast, so it's going to be a big encompassing storm out there, unfortunately, which means bad travel for a bad time of the year. I mean, this is a time everybody's out and about. Let's talk about uh, your threat tracker, your winter threat tracker. Got a level two for Wednesday, it is pretty much just snow, and that's really going to be Wednesday night. So during the day Wednesday, really no problems at all. Level four, though, as we go into Thursday, it's probably the most dangerous day because the snow wraps up in the morning, the wind and the cold settle in, and it gets uh, pretty nasty. I think the roads will be in bad, bad shape on Thursday. Friday still pretty bad because of the dangerous winds still blowing out there. Windshield values maybe 35 below, which we'll talk about. So uh, all in all, pretty bad day coming our way. I got some good news for you though. The roads, they're actually in good shape right now and they will be in good shape pretty much all day tomorrow. Uh, except for Western Iowa. That's where we will see some snow developing in the afternoon, but right now in pretty good shape. Watch out for your secondary roads. They may not be as clear. So this kind of snow, we are expecting the, the light and fluffy snow. At times it could be normal, but it's certainly not going to be a heavy wet snow or backbreaking snow. It's going to be a lighter snow and we expect to see several inches of snow, probably our biggest snowfall of the year, at least for the Des Moines area. And it really kicks in after four o'clock, at least for the accumulation. And most likely it's going to be after sunset and then going into, by the way, I should mention tomorrow is the first day of winter. How about that? How appropriate we're getting our first uh, major winter storm on the first day of winter. Well, it goes into Thursday morning and it should be wrapping up even by eight o'clock. It might be done at least in the metro. So that's what we're looking at for timing. Snowfall forecast. Well, you can see we've got central Iowa right there about four to seven inches and I think three is kind of the minimum. I think most areas in Iowa get three inches of snow and then I expect to see four in the metro, but you never know. It depends on the speed of the of the storm system, how fast that snow blows through. Right now we got five degrees here in Des Moines. It's cold enough right now. The wind is really not blowing. It's only six miles per hour. It's going to be a whole different world, though, as that wind cranks up. Now you can see the winds are out of the north here, but they're going to be changing and kind of going back up uh, out of the southeast tomorrow. So during the day, it's not a problem. We've got a southeast wind. We've got dry conditions, and it continues that way into the overnight hours, the evening hours. It's about 10 o'clock, and this is a little earlier than I think, but uh, probably 10, 11, or 12 is when the Arctic cold front will be blowing on through and you can see those winds. These are the wind gusts picking up over 40 miles per hour uh, behind this system. So that's also when the cold air starts to arrive. So it's a one two punch. I mean, you got the wind and you got the cold and the snow will be winding down, especially by 7 a.m. Thursday, but those winds don't stop. In fact, they might even get stronger, uh, still 35 miles per hour. And what's interesting is the criteria for a blizzard is winds of 35 miles per hour, just, you know, kind of a, a steady wind or gusts that are very uh, common of 35 or more. It does look like there's a possibility the winds get stronger on Friday, and that would be bad, especially for rural areas, because that snow will just won't stop uh, drifting across the roadways, so it could make for very, very bad conditions even on Friday for travelers. So let's talk about the temperatures and wind chills, and you can see temperatures are in the single digits. We're already below zero in Fort Dodge. Our temperatures are actually going to kind of level off here tonight, so it's not going to get really bitterly cold tonight. That's going to happen in the next couple of nights into the weekend. Let's talk about temperatures here. So forecasted high Thursday is actually in the morning, so temperatures will be falling all day. Thursday. So we're going to be below zero 
most of the day Thursday. Wind chill 20 below Thursday night. That could be the coldest night because the winds will still be howling 35 below for a wind chill 28 below 29 18. It really stays cold right into Saturday. Sunday Christmas Day will be cold but it should be calmer. The winds will die down. Now looking at uh, how quickly can you get frostbite? Well, it obviously depends on the person and your metabolism and your skin and all that jazz, but uh, generally speaking, 20 to 30 minutes when you get wind chills this cold, you don't want to be out there very long, that's for sure. You can go out and get the mail. You can go out and shovel snow. You know, you can do a few things out there, but you don't want to be out there very long with uh, your face and hands exposed. So looking at temperatures right now, we've got uh, the cold air moving in. This isn't the uh, the coldest of the air. We got 11 below, 21 below. That's pretty bad, but there's more up here in Canada. So it's kind of waiting in the wings and it'll be coming down as we go into the forecast. It's all because of this low coming out of the northwest here. The, you really don't see much there, right? But it's all this energy in the jet stream that's going to be traveling down and cranking up an area of low pressure. So future cast is showing the clear skies turning cloudy by tomorrow morning. So we wake up pretty much to cloudy skies. It'll be dry most of the daytime hours until we get into the afternoon. So by three o'clock, we should have a pretty good snow coming down in western Iowa. This will be accumulating snow in western Iowa. We probably don't have any accumulation here before, say, four o'clock. After that, some minor accumulations. It looks like, I mean, this can change, obviously, but this is our best guess. And then going into the overnight, this is when it really starts to come down. Uh, 7, 8 o'clock at night, Wednesday night. That's when we got some real uh, moderate snow falling in the area. Then we kind of uh, see a little. This is a, this is the question mark. This is the uh, this could change the snowfall forecast. If this doesn't get into the metro, we may only get three inches. If it does get into the metro, we might get six inches. So it's really kind of what happens with that secondary area of snow here is kind of a uh, interesting question right now. I'm going to say we'll get about four inches of snow, so we'll get a little bit of that, but we may not get the bulk of that. The cold air rushes in after that, so it's really a dry day on Thursday after, say, 7 or 8 o'clock in the morning, and then it just gets cold and windy, uh, a lot of clouds around, maybe a few peaks of sunshine. Here's what we got for your 10-day uh, forecast from Holt, and you can see it's going to be very, very cold out there for a long time here. We go into the weekend. Here's Christmas Day, and we start off at 10 below, but at least the wind isn't blowing. Get up to 16. I think we'll have some sunshine in the morning, but looks like there's a little uh, disturbance a sh called a short wave of energy comes through Christmas night. So we could have another little snow Christmas night into Monday morning. So if you got to head to work Monday, you might have a little snow to deal with on the morning commute there. And finally, next week we get we break out of this terrible pattern and we get into some milder weather and with temperatures in the 30s and a little sunshine, the roads would improve greatly. So hopefully that does happen. In fact, some of the models say that it'll be even warmer than that. But we're not going to get too uh, get too uh, you know creative or too uh, uh, want too much out of that. Well, let's talk about uh, the forecast here. It is going to be pretty nasty the next couple of days, so just hang in there. Stay with Local Five. We will continue to watch it very very closely for you. Basically, having updates like this one and also updates in the future on our newscasts and online. Thank you for watching.